Я очень рад продолжению нашего многолетнего сотрудничества с агентством. I am very happy to be continuing our long cooperation with the United States Agency for International Development. We have worked together in the Kyrgyz Republic for more than 15 years with good results. I wish USAID success in carrying out its new quality healthcare project in preserving and improving the health of the people of Kyrgyzstan. We are thankful to the American people for their support in improving the health sector in our country. Our joint goal is to prevent and cure disease. I believe that we will reach this goal. For the past 15 years, The United States Agency for International Development has worked in concert with the government of Kyrgyzstan and in coordination with other donors to strengthen the healthcare system and improve quality of care. Contributions have included support to government in restructuring health financing and introducing necessary healthcare policy, to structural and provider level improvements, upgrading clinical practice and population education activities. В лице проекта Здрав Плюс, Здрав Плюс 1, Здрав Плюс 2 в течение 15 лет USAID непосредственно поддерживает. Through Здрав Reform, Здрав Plus 1 and Здрав Plus 2, over a period of 15 years, USAID has supported each reform in the healthcare sector, from changes in financing, the transition to the single payer system, case based payment in hospitals, per capita payment on the PHC level and multiple trainings and seminars for PHC and hospital-level healthcare workers. Donors, including USAID, have provided the most crucial equipment without which the healthcare system could not function. Today, USAID is launching the Quality Healthcare Project, implemented by a partnership of APT Associates, Project HOPE, APMG, STLI, and SOSIM Consult. The USAID Quality Healthcare Project will build upon the successes of past USAID projects and health reform activities to further improve the health status of Central Asians, especially in the areas of tuberculosis and HIV, maternal and child health, family planning, and non-infectious disease, primarily cardiovascular disease. All project activities aim at improving the quality of preventive health services and treatment of disease for the people of Kyrgyzstan through four overarching goals, improving quality of health services, creating a safer medical environment, strengthening public health capacity, and empowering civil society to better respond to health needs. Благодаря именно ЮСАИДу, который впервые у нас стал финансировать и внедрять через Ассоциацию групп семейных врачей Thanks to USAID support, the Family Group Practice and Nursing Association set forth the building blocks for continuous quality improvement, CQI. To date, we have introduced CQI for hypertension to 54 rayons, to 9 rayons for bronchial asthma and chronic obstructive lung disease, and with swap funding for antenatal care. Continuous Quality Improvement, or CQI, is a tool for healthcare facilities which allows them to regularly monitor and improve their adherence to new evidence-based clinical protocols which are based on medical evidence. In the past, hypertension wasn't a problem. Today, on the other hand, hypertension is a very common problem. Since 2005, We have monitored hypertension in our patients. We check blood pressure in everyone over age 18 and take efforts to control blood pressure as necessary. I am 53 years old. I have been under the care of a doctor for five years. First, I took time off from work, but my blood pressure didn't go down, so I was prescribed medicine. Now every day, from 6 to 7 a.m., I do exercises on the bank of the river. Then I wait a half hour after coming back home. I check my blood pressure and I take my medication. The doctors explain to me that I need to take my medication regularly or else my blood pressure will go back up, 
so I take my medicine every day. Under the Quality Healthcare Project, CQI will be used as a tool in all of the priority health areas, including MCH, HIV, and TB, on both the primary and secondary care levels. With USAID support, evidence-based clinical protocols, algorithms which guide healthcare providers, have been developed, approved by the Ministry of Health, and are being successfully implemented by local providers. In Kyrgyzstan, one of the approximately 200 new evidence-based protocols focuses on antenatal care. With support from USAID and other donors, doctors and nurses have been trained in evidence-based methods and improved antenatal and newborn care has been institutionalized through much of the country, thus improving quality of care for the population. Right now, at the perinatal center, we have three national trainers of our own. As soon as a baby is born, he is placed at the mother's breast, skin-to-skin -skin contact. The child benefits from the mother's immunity. We try our best to ensure a warm temperature in the delivery room so that the baby's body temperature remains within the allowable norms. The woman's partner can be present during the birth. The woman can choose her own delivery position. All of this is done for the benefit of the mother and the child. Over the past two years, 2010 and the first part of 2011, we have seen a decrease in maternal and newborn mortality rates. We believe that training and improving the capacity of healthcare workers has played quite an important role in this decrease. The Quality Healthcare Project is expanding its quality improvement work in Kyrgyzstan to also address tuberculosis and HIV. Infection prevention and control on the provider level has been an important part of USAID's work on antenatal and newborn care over the past 10 years and will take on increased importance under the Quality Project, particularly in preventing the transmission of infection, including TB and HIV, in medical facilities, protecting both healthcare providers and patients. By improving evidence-based policies and guidelines, strengthening monitoring, improving environmental conditions, training healthcare providers, and providing supportive supervision, USAID will support the government of Kyrgyzstan in establishing and implementing integrated evidence-based infection prevention and control management systems in primary healthcare centers, central district hospitals, maternity hospitals, TB hospitals, and laboratories. The Quality Healthcare Project will provide management technical assistance and support for the Ministry of Health TB and AIDS centers, sanitary and epidemiological services, laboratories, medical institutes, and community organizations to help strengthen their capacity to improve the quality, scope, and coordination of health services, particularly for TB and HIV. The Quality Project will strengthen reference laboratories and lab networks and support introduction of more effective laboratory systems for TB and HIV testing. With USAID support, Project HOPE has carried out significant work on tuberculosis diagnosis and treatment. HOPE was amongst the organizations to introduce evidence-based, lower-cost DOTS therapy to Kyrgyzstan. Today, as one of the Quality Project implementing partners, Project HOPE will build upon its experience in the sphere of TB to improve drug management, laboratory services, prevention of TB, and integration of TB diagnosis and treatment on the primary health care level, thus protecting the health of the population. With the goal of preventing the spread of HIV and TB, the Quality Project will target high-risk groups. The Global Fund welcomes participation of the government and other partners in the fight against three diseases. It is very good that the new USAID Quality Healthcare Project is starting at almost the same time as the ninth round Global Fund grant for TB and the 10th round grant for AIDS. Despite the relatively low levels of HIV in Kyrgyzstan as compared with countries globally, 
The levels of HIV infection in the Central Asian countries are continuing to increase. The Quality Healthcare Project will provide support to governmental and non-governmental organizations to reduce the spread of HIV, including the use of substitution therapy amongst injection drug users. Main activities will be focused on integration into the PHC level of increased services for people most at risk for HIV. Patients, and the population as a whole, play a large role in protecting their own health and distributing information about health issues. Throughout most of Kyrgyzstan, village health committees created through the work of the Swiss Red Cross bring citizens together and serve as a valuable two-way link between the population and healthcare providers. <laughs> As you know, we have village health committees in our rural areas to look out for the residents' health. Committee representatives are always looking after our population. They suggested that I go see a doctor. See, yesterday I went to the doctor, and when he checked, it turned out my blood pressure was high. So now, based on my doctor's suggestion, I am attending these classes. Residents of Isikul Oblast are thankful to USAID because with its help, village health committees were created in the Oblast. Through the village health committee system, we learn about changes taking place in our Ministry of Health. Thanks to USAID, it has gotten easier for us to address health issues in our own community. Through the Quality Health Care Project, USAID will continue collaborative work with the Swiss Red Cross through village health committees to educate the population on a variety of issues, including tuberculosis prevention and treatment. As the healthcare system develops and works to address a number of new health issues, NGOs play a crucial role in filling temporary gaps in the healthcare system, improving social services, representing the needs of risk groups, working to reduce stigma and raise awareness, and advocating for specific improvements in the health care system. Through the Quality Health Care Project, USAID is able to build upon past experience from its previous projects in Central Asia using best practices and experienced technical staff to introduce and integrate important changes in the healthcare sector so that they will be sustainable. It is very important that all our efforts be dedicated to improving the capacity of healthcare institutions. Originally created with support from USAID, professional associations such as the Family Group Practice and Nursing Association, the Hospital Association, the Family Medicine Specialists Association and the Medical Accreditation Commission play a key role in implementing activities and developing systems to improve quality of care, prevent infection, and strengthen the overall healthcare system. Even these associations served as instruments of reform for the newly created healthcare structures. They carried out training seminars on the national and oblast levels and on the principles of financing, on provision of care, on new reporting, and on new IT, and helped these new healthcare institutions get on their feet. This meant that by 2005, when the national program Manas Talimi was written, family medicine was already institutionalized and working throughout the country. The USAID Quality Healthcare Project will coordinate its activities with other international donors, including the Global Fund, the World Bank, the World Health Organization, and Kyrgyzstan government authorities. The Quality Project team has already begun to carry out work in the above-mentioned fields in the Kyrgyz Republic. <laughs>